It's my shower show. It's my shower show. Welcome to my shower show. And I'm here to share it with you. Well, you're in for a treat today. Our friend Pierre Pressure is down visiting from Pennsylvania. And he's been making a lot of stencils. And I think that he has something to show us and something to teach us. So uh, let's go snap down to Pierre's house and uh, see what we can learn. Uh, hey, look at this. This is great. We're, uh, we've got Pierre Pressure for today's guest on the artist's uh, showcase for the Adam Farrington Shower Show. Good morning. I hope I didn't snap in on you at an inopportune time. Oh, uh, well, never, never a bad time to interrupt the man when he's huffing. I haven't got around to the paint yet, but... Uh-huh. Mm. What's going on, huh? Well, you know, I've got my uh, my morning program, the Adam Farrington Shower Show, and I've been trying to include uh, artists whose work I admire and whose ethic of uh, production that I seek to emulate. And, uh, Rabbit, all hours, you see. Paint and razors. Uh-huh. Well, ma'am, thank you so much for uh, snapping in. Awesome. Here we are in Sunny Desire Street. There's some of, the, some of the images I've been working with lately. So what are the acetate images for? What are you going to do with those? Well, here, here I've got some other stages of, of making them. I'll, I'll go grab them. How I made this batch of stencils was these are things I draw fairly often. Like I matched it up exactly, you know, one card on top of the other. And I sprayed it and I got this. Then cut out the outline of that. Are you use all box cutters? I like this kind. And um it's right here somewhere. I like anything that's sharp. Uh -huh. I mean I'll use anything. I mean uh -huh. I'll use a razor blade, I'll use a razor knife, I'll use a utility knife. I mean, I'll use any set. I mean, if you're cutting out a like really, if you're cutting a, bit, a really big one, steak knife works great on cardboard, or uh, that plastic stuff uh, that they make uh, election signs out of, uh, core plast. You can make a stencil out of any damn thing. I mean, anything. Or it's like, I used to cut all my stencils. Now I'm really into using stuff that's got holes in it. I mean, the expanded metal lath right here. Uh huh. That's a stencil. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff. Just, you know, sitting the caps of stuff on things and spray painting around them. I mean, it works great. I mean, anything can be a stencil. So we're talking about the importance of action and not being bound to having yeah. the right facilities and uh -huh. the right materials, right? So, yeah, I mean, so, but just like a, it's true, man. You can do, you can do just about anything with just about anything. Now, I like to do, you know, multiple layers of stencils, right? You can always, don't always have multiple uh, colors of paint or cans of paint. This looks pretty banging. I mean, it's a two-layer stencil, but that's just one color of paint. You just dust over the background real light mm -hmm. and uh, put on the foreground real heavy. Here, let me grab some stuff that uh, I've been painting. Like. So we have this case, and what yeah. I notice about the case, right, is that I mean, stenciling is like a two-dimensional art form, right? That jumps out into 3D. That's what I'm saying. It's very forgiving. If it doesn't match up right, it's fine. It just looks like, you know, it looks cool. It adds another little edge that makes it more graphically available. Like you know? this is kind of almost like a sculpture, right? Uh, I guess it is. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just throwing these in the trash. I'm going to put some uh, gas can handles on them. They're old tape cases. I just like them because, you know, they'll take paint good. Use any damn paint you can get a hold of. This stuff is 96 cents. Um, but this stuff right here, if you're gonna do things on a dark surface or like a dark t-shirt, you want Kills Original Interior Primer. I mean, I wish they'd pay me for the endorsement, but this is the way to go because it'll make any other color stand up and stick out. Um, you can't really get normal 96 cent spray paint does not stand out on a dark shirt. This stuff, however, does. I'm gonna spray paint something on here, but I figure I'll do it on the shirt. 
That might be uh, more germane. Well, the Adam Farrington shower show, the more germane, the better. No, oh, this is an ugly ass color shirt. This is not what I'd normally go with, but it's what I'm wearing right now. So we're gonna rock and roll on. But part of our philosophy is that we go with what we have available, right? There you go. So yeah, these stencils are cut out of just, just cut out of this. Because this is the most, you know, important part of it, because it's tough and it'll last a good long while. Who knows how long, but it'll certainly last longer than the paper. The paper stops your overspray. Mm -hmm. Me, personally, I like the overspray, but not everybody does. A little green tint there. Just a little bit of eyeballing, but again, it's a forgiving medium. Should we leave it alone or should we add more shit? Well, we might as well add more shit. Oh yeah, but let's see how far we can take it. Clap that right on there. It's a, it's a marriage between the controlled and the semi-controlled. Well, all right. Yeah. Thank you for the window into your world and your process. Yeah. You're welcome. And uh, uh, thanks for hanging out. All right. Rock and roll.